And welcome back. No visit to the city of David would be complete without our good friend Zev Orenstein. Zev is the director of international affairs for the city of David and a regular guest right here on the Watchman Show. He joined us to share how the latest discoveries of the first temple period bulle and stamp at the city of David are only the beginning. Great things are happening right here in Jerusalem. Take a look and find out why. Talk just showed us two phenomenal, phenomenal finds from 2,600 years ago. Okay, fill us in more on the biblical period from which they originated, the seal and the bullet. So we're talking about King Josiah, descendant of the Davidic dynasty. He takes over as king of Judah. He's eight years old. He's a kid. And he orders the renovations of the temple atop the Temple Mount, just a few feet away from where we're standing right now. And Hilkiah, the high priest, he is in one of the treasure rooms, cleaning things up, doing some renovations, and he makes an amazing discovery, perhaps no less significant than the one that you just saw. They find a Torah scroll. Now, people say, all right, what's the big deal? I mean, it's Jerusalem, the Bible times, you probably have these things all over the place, right? They find this Torah scroll, and apparently they weren't as common as you would think and they bring it to the king. And the king sees this Torah scroll. And apparently he maybe had even never seen one before because when he sees this, this scroll, he's so moved and he understands its significance. He says, well, I'm gonna do something about it. And he unleashes or, or begins a religious reformation, which in a certain sense has, has created the Judaism and also the Christianity that eventually came forth. It happened because of Josiah. A great revival under this very young king. That's right. And if you think about today, there are forces, whether it's from UNESCO, whether it's the Palestinians or others, who what they're trying to do is what 2,600 years ago was happening in Jerusalem as well. We want to erase any vestige of the Bible any connection of the Jewish people to their God and to their land. And the discovery of the Torah in the temple, hidden away in one of the storage rooms, is like the finding of the seal that says, wait a minute, like, we've been here. This is where our ancestors walked, preached, prayed, worshipped, built a society that was meant to be a light unto the nations. This is where it was happening. And every now and again, whether it's 2,600 years ago or today, you need those reminders. You need to make that big discovery whether it's the Torah scroll from 2,600 years ago or the seal of Nathan Melech, servant to the king today, and say, wait a minute, there's something special going on here, and we're a part of that story. The great thing about the city of David and this dig is you're combining the Bible with rock-solid archaeological proof. That's right. It's all coming alive. You said that you learned the Bible, you've learned a lot about the Bible by working here. I can tell you that Watchmen viewers have learned a lot about the Bible, about the land, about this city, Jerusalem, from you, Zev Orenstein, so thank you so much, my friend. You know, Eric, I have to tell you, today you got to do something that even I have never done before. You got to hold the seal of Nathan Melech, servant to the king, straight out of the pages of the Bible. I want your viewers at home to appreciate the access the Watchman gets. Even I have never gotten to hold that seal before. You are at the center of where everything is happening and just miracles happen. Hey, it's an honor and a privilege, and believe me, it's our honor and privilege to be with you, Zev. Thanks again to Zev, the Israel Antiquities Authority, and the entire team at the City of David for giving us an exclusive look at some groundbreaking archaeological finds. Well, up next, my final thoughts on why you can expect many more new discoveries right here in Jerusalem in the days to come. Stick around.